Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Demon Slayer, Nezuko and Tanjiro together. Nezuko sort of coming out of the box, you know, that Tanjiro was, carry was, was carrying her around in on his back. So, use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. I'm on landscape orientation page, all that good stuff. So, kind of two characters, a little bit complicated. So take your time, hit pause a lot when I move my hand or if I go too fast, all that kind of stuff. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna start with Nezco, right? So her eye, sort of down the bottom, her head is kind of bottom half, Tanjiro top half, right? So halfway will be where, say, maybe top of Nezco's head is. And then her eyes are just down a little bit. Down the bottom portion of the page is where her head would be, okay? So we'll start with the right eyelid. So take your time. So we're just gonna curve a line across like that. So she's kind of climbing out of the box. She doesn't have like a straight head. It's kind of diagonal. So, you know, kind of a slanted line just here like this, right? And then we gotta thicken this up because she's got quite thick eyelashes, okay? So we're gonna just thicken this line up. Darken it. Like so, and sometimes we can, in Demon Slayer, we can have some extra lines sticking out. Maybe like an extra kind of eyelash line here. And then our bottom eyelid. So it's fairly simple in Demon Slayer. They go down. So, and we can have some eyelashes sticking off here. Just thickening this line up a little bit, like so. And then our eye inside, so real big eyes. Top of it slightly cut off by the eyelid, and then she has snake like, demon like eyes in the center. It's got a kind of a purple aura around it, but you'd have to color that in. So, so just above her eye, then her eyebrow. So it's kind of a tick going up this way, and then it changes direction up here. And this end is slightly thicker. So we're just gonna thicken it up like so and just color in this end. Okay. All right, so then eyelid lines kind of coming down here around her eye, you know, just to show the bump of her actual eyelid just in there. So then her other eye, just over here, right? So we're down a little bit from it. So we're going diagonal down this way. We're not like straight across, we're diagonal. And then this line is just gonna go this way, curving up. A bit curvier than this one. We're in three quarters sort of pose a little bit. So curvier sort of line. And again, you want to thicken, thicken this line up. So we're curving a bit more here, and we're going to thicken it up. Okay, and then bottom eyelid comes across here, back up the other side. Like so. So we're, we're, this eye is kind of skinnier than this one, right? It's probably three quarters the width because we're in three quarter pose. So this eye is smaller. Her head is kind of turned away from us on this side a little bit. 
So that's what three quarter pose is. It's when one side of the head is slightly turned away. Okay. And then our iris in here. Like so, and then a snake-like sort of eye again. So her eyebrow just here. Up to there. And then we add a thicker section. Like so. Might be a little line coming down towards her nose. Like there, and maybe like an eyelid line on that side some extra lines and stuff. Like so. So the main thing to remember is that this eye is slightly smaller than this one, okay? And we curved up a little bit because we're in three quarter. So I think she has a frown line just on her nose there. Okay, so then Nezuko has that bamboo in her mouth. So that's the next part we're gonna do, right? So it's just a diagonal line across here. Kind of looks like you're giving her a weird flat mouth. <laughs> right, but we'll add the curved parts. So curved line here, curved line here. And then we will go across to the bottom of the bamboo. Now it looks like her mouth is open. <laughs> And the bamboo has like these bumps and ridges on them, okay? Like an extra sort of bumpy, ridgy area here. Another one here. Like so. And then one's on the end. An extra sort of bumping area on the end. Just there. And another one on this end. And then we have those red pieces of rope that go in underneath her hair. We gotta draw her hair first, so we won't do that yet. So we just got like an extra sort of line inside here. Like so. So just above the bamboo, then we have her nose, right? So, and Demon Slayer nose is just sort of got this sort of point here with some maybe like hatching lines coming down it. Right line there. And then changes direction, go back down to here. And then a nostril on that side. And that's all you really have to do to draw her nose. And her chin, right? So her chin is just underneath this bamboo, comes down here. And then comes back up in to there. It's like a little triangle here. So then her face comes up the side here. So her cheek, so imagine it travels this way, comes out the other side, just there. And then it'll kind of bump up around her eyebrow, up to here. And then, so this is where we hit hair, right? So the hair is gonna start coming down the side of her face. Let's say here. And then we may have like another shadowy sort of part that comes out here. It comes out down like so. So now this. So we're gonna go up and around for her hairline then. So it's gonna go up and around this way, right? And the other side, just over here, right? Another piece of hair coming down beside this bamboo, off down there, right? So then we have her hair that comes across. So let's go for it. So just like zigzag sort of hairline, right? Coming across her head. here like so 
And she's sort of in her angry sort of phase. So she's got these veins and stuff coming down her forehead. So they look like kind of letter Y's, you know, upside down, sort of going this way. Or like roots of a tree or something, you know, like this branches of a tree or the roots of a tree coming down from her forehead and her hairline. Maybe she has one, I think she does. She has one underneath her cheek here. Like so, up around, just there. And then we can add those pieces of rope that attach the bamboo to her mouth. Like so, and around the other side of her face as well, just in here. Right, so the rest of Nezco's hair. So we can see that um, sort of uh, ribbon, right? So you just add like a rectangle here. It's got a diagonal line, okay? This is the piece of hair that's kind of tied and then it's got a piece of ribbon sticking up here down like so then the next part sticks up here okay and then we've got a long piece of hair that come down from this so then let's go long piece coming down that way and most of this is in dark black sort of shadow anyway. So we can't really see much of it. We can see the top of her head. So I guess we'll add that first. So like, where we put it? Say like here. Comes over. So we're trying to go around sort of this way. Okay, and this is gonna go down the side of her head, join up with this sort of piece of hair on the side of her head here somewhere. So it comes down into here and then off. And, we, and it like comes down all the way down to there, right? So, then, so just thickening up, sometimes in Demon Slayer, the outside lines can be a bit thicker than the rest of them. So just thickening up some of the lines. Right, so Nezco, So her hair, so we got it kind of got a part um, right here. So it comes up, comes around into this sort of thing here, and then more parts there. And then this comes out down that way. And then we got some other pieces of hair here. Another one coming out and down around there and we can see her knee here so there's like a bump for her knee and then this other part comes out of her ribbon just there and maybe like some more texture lines and stuff here and then so we have this is that dark line coming down that way and then then we have more hair more hair let's go making it hard with loads of hair right so we got another one coming down here And then 
big wavy one coming down there so this is another big wavy strand of hair down like so and then we can kind of see her shoulder in this portion just here right so it comes down like that This is like her arm and then her arm has another hair like section just here and then curving piece of hair there this goes in to her head and then we got some more you guessed it more hair lines and stuff coming down her head texture lines shadow etc just in here so this is all hair and then maybe some more just at the back of this ribbon. Just there. Do 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 there. Yeah, and then so this is her elbow, and I think she, this piece of hair actually goes up onto her elbow. Just here. Goes across, down. Move another like piece of clothing for her elbow down to there and the line going across like so down and so let's see we might have some more hair just here somewhere like so so I think that's the majority of her hair and of course there's all like shadows and stuff but do that at the end they're just dark black shadows and then her clothing so we have I think a line for the side of her kimono just there and then a V for her collar coming down from here it goes up the other side just there and a shadow underneath her chin So in Demon Slayer again as well, sometimes like the edge lines of the characters can be like thicker, so you can do that if you want. You just kind of double them up. You don't have to, of course. But you can if you want. It's just the style of the enemy and it's just like the outlines the outline points it's not really on the inside and I think her kimono has like some patterns on this like some lines like that okay so to do um Tanjiro we got to do this box right so the corners of the box I think there is there's like one corner here and the other corner say there okay and we're gonna join these across with a line So, and then align straight down. Down. Just say here somewhere. Okay, and then do we have, no, so we got, we just have a double line on the inside. So we go. Across to here. Down. 
this one comes across as well. But this one has a door. So the door sort of starts maybe halfway. So I would say So that's that. So then it'll come out like diagonal. So the door will go diagonal out to like here. So out like so. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this goes a bit further to there. So we're just drawing straight lines, use a ruler, make it easy. <clears throat> and then straight down there. <clears throat> like so, and this has a silver sort of metal area on it. here as well. Okay, so then the door's swinging open, Nezco's coming out. So that means the edge of the door, so we gotta do that. So it'll go diagonal at first, and then it'll go straight down, pretty much, all the way down to her elbow. As far as you can. If you hit elbow, stop. Okay. And then there's some details in here, like, you know, wood lines, wood panel lines, right? So you just go, you know, vertical, down like so. Sometimes they only go like halfway up, so like there. And you just do various things like that all across, okay? Something like that. Okay, so once we have the box drawn, now we can put Tanjiro in. And we can only kind of see half Tanjiro's head. We can see his eye, because his back is to us, but his head is turned and it's looking this way, right? So it's just above Nezco's head, right? Just up here. So, yeah, let's just go for it. So, top eyelid, curves up, down this way. Okay. Like that. And again, we can thicken this up. So a thicker sort of line. Top eyelids in Demon Slayer are really big, showing big eyelashes and stuff like that. So that's what you want to go for. And sometimes they'll have these extra lines sticking off. So his bottom eyelid goes diagonal. So it's going to go down like this. Okay. So unusual sort of, sort of shape, but it's because he's like looking back at us. He's like, his head is turned and he's looking back over his own shoulder. So the bottom of his iris is cut off, right? So we go from here. And again, it doesn't have to be like a round circle because Demon Slayer, the characters, their eyes are kind of geometric or something. So it just, it just doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but it just makes it real easy for us. And then he's got that white of his eye, that sort of diamond sort of shape. Like so. Right, so then his eyebrow, right, so it comes out in front of his face and it goes fairly vertical and then flies across. So we're gonna go up this way. Like so. And then we'll bring it across like that. 
and then we got like a thicker section on the end here. And we bring it up towards the corner and just color this in. Like so. So then eyelid line just in under here and coming back towards the back of his eye, just back here. So then his, so if this is his eyebrow, right? So the front of his nose has to be like here. Okay, and then his brow, so like the front of his forehead, come up this way. And again, you can like thicken up these edge lines for his face, okay? So his hairline then comes all the way around, okay? And it's gonna go down for his hair spikes, just down beside his eye, down here, right? Hair spike beside his eye, there, and another one beside it. And this will go back up around to there. Of course, Tanjiro has black and sort of ruby red uh, shapes in his hair. So we're going to have to draw those in as well because it, it won't look like Tanjiro's hair if we don't. So we have a hair spike here. It goes back into there. And then another one goes up, back down. And this will travel back up towards the top of his head into here. So Tanjiro's ear then is in here. So we can just see the side of his ear just in there. Can add some ear lines like this and here like so I'm gonna add a shadow to his eye so I'm going what I'm going to do is just sort of color the top portion and around his eye I'm going to color it black. And then this bottom portion will be a ruby, ruby red portion, okay? So then the rest of his hair comes out from his forehead spikes all the way around and then just a bit of his shoulder and we're and the black shadows and we're done right so let's see so we're gonna go up to here next one so like so spikes down So just off top of my page and we just keep going back. So this comes back in. Then the next one, spikes. Back and up, down. And then we go down this way, back into here down this one sticks up a bit and then we bring this down the thing about tanjiro's hair is that even if you can't even see it's his face <laughs> you still know it's tanjiro because of the sort of unique sort of design another spike in here down into the box down there okay so 
Um, Tanjiro's hair then has all these uh, black shadows, right? So we're gonna just draw this. So you basically copy sort of each spike like so. So in here's all dark black, out here's ruby red, okay? That's what I got so far. So out here is red, in here is black. So I'll put like a dot where there's black sections just so we don't get confused. So I don't get confused when I'm coloring it. Um, yeah, so this is Ruby. And then another one. Well, I guess it's, it's, is a burgundy or Ruby? Not sure. I suppose it has different colors, probably has numbers and stuff, so. And then, so more in here, so more spikes. Down to there. And some on this one as well. So just sort of adding an edge to these. So black, black in here. Yeah, and then his shoulder. So let's see what we can see of that. Not much. So this comes down from say Nezuko's head. So I mean, what I mean by that is it's in line with her forehead. So it doesn't, his shoulder doesn't start like down in line with her eyes. It's in line with her forehead. And this is an edge line for Tanjiro. So we can thicken up that shoulder line a little bit. You can do that on his hair as well, actually. Forgot to mention. So thickening up the edge lines makes it more like Demon Slayer. Thing. And of course, he's got those green and black stripes coming down. So, so this is black, this is black, and then the other one sort of here. I think Nezco has a gap in her hair just here, yeah. And you can see some of that box coming down. So, black there. Um, and of course that's dark shadow inside the boxes. It's just like black inside here. Um, and Nezuko has some shadows in her hair as well, but I'll color that in, in post. So, I think that's everything. How to draw Nezuko and Tanjiro together on one page. Hope it was helpful guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.